I will never be like Judy Austin. I will never betray my man. I will never cheat on my husband. I will stay with my husband till the end of time, as Peggy Overett declared on her traditional marriage day. At this moment, my country people, Judy Austin, she has really opened the eye of all the celebrities in Nigeria to learn on how not to cheat on their man, to stay with their man because Judy, she has already set a bad example at the internet space that many online in-laws are really dragging Judy at this moment. And many celebrities in Nigeria and all over the world they have learned from the bad step of Judy Austin to be good, to stay with their husband and never to cheat. As Peggy Overett declared that she will never cheat on her husband, that she will stay with her husband, said she no go open leg for any man in her entire life. Guys, I'm going to allow you to watch the rest of the video at this moment. As all our in-laws are dragging Judy at this moment, that Judy Austin was not able to to stay with her husband, Mr. Obasi. All she did was to open her leg to all the male celebrities in Nigeria because she was so desperate for fame. But look at Peggy when she met Frederick Niola. They stick to each other. They were good friends till today, about seven years ago. Now they are celebrating their victory. They are celebrating their happy moment. Guys, before I will allow you to watch the rest of this video, at this moment, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Guys, please take a minute of your time and visit my bio description. I have amazing products for you. Just check on my bio description and thank me later. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. But I will never cheat on you. Mm. I know that's your biggest fear. Wow. I want to say that God, God has blessed me. Sometimes. I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Baby, I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. But I will love you. I will respect you. You will always be the crown on my head. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Thank you for waking up in the morning and saying, Babe, let's pray. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Frederick doesn't stop praying. Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. Frederick wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is a good man. And when I met Frederick, Smarty, he had a girlfriend. But then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it. Peggy still. And so tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I will get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Listen to him, encourage him. That is all that I have done in these years. It got to it got to a point that I thought that Frederick would not marry me. I'm like, Frederick, I'm a fine girl. You're wasting my time. <laughs> and he'll be like, wait, 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 wait. I know there are rich guys chasing you. I will marry you. And babe, this has been a long journey. You'll always be my best friend. If you don't fight, we will not fight with. Everybody will shoot it. I will call it for minor things. They say, hey, what's this woman to tell? Thank you for being a brother to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not seeing me as... Um, someone who is not from your tribe, but she's yet. Babe. I remember when I met her, he was like, You want to marry an Anambra guy, you Anambra people don't marry Robus. 
Babe, in front of the world and everyone that is witnessing today, I want to say that from the belly of my heart, from, from the deepest, deepest of my baby, not my love talker like you, but you know that I love you. Thank you for planning our finance. Thank you, thank you for making up, making sure that we grow together. Thank you for holding my hands and saying, hey, we are going to make a big mistake. Don't do this. I appreciate you. I've always been a stubborn girl. You have to do with it for the rest of your life. You will always be a stubborn man, and I will do with it for the rest of life, my life. But I will never cheat on you. I know that's your biggest fear. I want to say that God has blessed us. You and I know that God has blessed us. And we are grateful to God. He has blessed you. He has blessed me. And I want you to know that I love you. I will always love you. No matter what happens. Ours will be different. Amen. They say entertainers marriage don't last. We will last. Amen. Who will be an inspiration to the younger ones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we would love each other. We will show people how it is to love one another. How many children? We will have the number of kids we want. <laughs> and for everyone that is here to witness our love, thank you. It's been seven years. Seven years now. And Frederick. Frederick Leonard. I love you and God bless you for me. That's a beautiful one. Put your hands together. Just put your hands together. Just put your hands together. Put your hands together. Uh, it's more than a wedding. Inside the wedding, we have motivating stories, motivational things. They said that entertainers' marriage, celebrities' marriage doesn't last, but our own is going to last. We are going to inspire others. We are going to teach others on what love is and how to love as husband and wife. Guys, oh, this word really melts my heart from Peggy. It really melts my heart. That is to tell you that every woman, every entertainer, every celebrity is not like Judy Austin. Yes, there are so many celebrities, female celebrities that still know what they are doing. And Peggy is one of them. She said, entertainers marry don't last. That is what people are saying. But our own is going to last. I will never cheat on you, my husband. I'm not going to be like Judy that left her husband all because she saw a greener spatula in you, Edochi. She went ahead to destroy another woman's home just for her to escape poverty. But here, our own marriage is going to last. We are going to inspire others in the industry to stay married and to love their spouse despite everything that is happening. Kudos to you guys, Peggy and Frederick Newland. You guys really match each other. Congratulations again. May God shower his blessings and favor upon your new home. Before we call this video a wrap, please leave your own comment down below and take a minute of your time to visit my bio description. I have amazing products for you. God bless you as you do just that for me. Please help me to share, like this video. God bless you and see you in my next video. Bye for now.